David, congratulations. Was that pretty much the perfect start to the season? Three goals, three points and a clean sheet? Yeah, I think Aidan White sort of epitomises uh, the spirit. Uh, certainly, you know, what we're trying to grow and that togetherness and that unity uh, that I want to see. Uh, they're only, at times, people might think of them as small things, but when you've done the work that Aidan's done through the summer and then, um, you know, in the pre-season, physically he can get to that ball you know and he's backed up con logs logs has come out and um you know there's an open goal and uh aiden's drove into that area because he physically can you know so um i think it was a it was an outstanding performance um the lads we've brought him have felt really comfy they've settled in you know we, we sort of did our business early um and that's allowed us to um welcome them boys and let them understand and, and play in pre-season games and let them feel the crowd and let them feel, you know, what it means to, you know, Mansfield supporters. But I said when I signed Otis about, you know, he's exciting, he gets you off your seat, he's got the ability um, to score goals. I just didn't expect, I didn't expect an edit goal from him. Um, I think it's his first one he's ever scored. But, you know, when, he's, when he wriggles and when, he, when he's, he, he hurts you, he upsets you, you know, so um, really chuffed with how the new players have settled. But, you know, I think uh, there was a real togetherness uh, in that performance and uh, we never looked under threat. But did, when we did come under threat, Conrad Logan was outstanding, you know, some fantastic saves, um, you know, and, and he's, again, he's, he's epitomised everything I believe in, in terms of preparation. Um, you know, and and he's had a really good pre-season, and you get a result like that off the back of a, a of a strong pre-season, uh, a tough pre-season. But work on the training ground, I saw that some of the phases, some of the passing moves, um, and I was surprised at times how much space to give Mal Benning. You know, because uh, for me, Mal, uh, he can hurt you, he can unlock you. Um, he's got three or four different passes, and um, you know, he, he, he had a lot of space today, and, and he used utilised it superbly um, so no it was a real team performance and uh, the, the, the pleasing aspect is, is seeing what we've been working on for a long you know for, for six weeks now and a lot of work in Portugal uh, comes to fruition you know I've talked a lot about the physicality um, but some of the passing work today that we've done um, and the way we've when we've secured possession we've moved them around the pitch and then hurt them uh, you know, Craig Davis, Davis has pulled the trigger early doors. I thought that had sneaked in. Uh, Ortiz has slid um, Tyler. When, when I got Tyler, I showed him that's the that's the sort of goal that he'll get for us, Tyler, uh, on, on the Ortiz slide pass. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of things that we've worked on was evident in that game today. And uh, we kept going and going. The, the three subs that come on uh, would have ran anything down. You know, they come on to give us impact and energy and, uh, and they give us that. So, uh, yeah, I'm delighted. Yeah, you look at the squad as well, and we've seen the emergence in recent weeks of Lewis Gibbons and Jordan Graham, two young players. It's important to you, isn't it, to bring young players through, and you have done today in the squad. Developing players is key. You know, I look at, I look at my career, um, five or six years with Key Phil uh, as, as an assistant manager, highly passionate about improving players, but young players give you an energy, they give you an honesty, they give you sincerity. And, uh, you know, it's a new initiative today, start of the season that the EFL have brought out. Uh, so, you know, Lewis Gibbons was our uh, club developed player, um, which means that, you know, every week we've got to have a, someone who's been developed through our club. But again, it just, I like, we're a, we're a young academy, you know, and to be able to, I didn't want to put a player on that probably didn't deserve to put on because to just uh, tick a box or get the paperwork right. So we fought really hard to get Lewis uh He's done something like 24,000 hours with the football club and with our coaches, Dempst and Coops and, um, and Mike Whitlaw. And uh, it's a brilliant initiative. And if you look at the England team, you know, and you look at the, the way they performed, a lot of that team has sort of come from the AFL. I think sometimes uh, in, in the world of the world of premiership football and, and global football, there's too much emphasis on, um, on the premiership. Well, there's another 72 league clubs that underpin that. Uh, and our EFL is super strong and probably 90% of that England squad that performed so well at the World Cup has spent time in there, has come from there, uh, you know, whether it's Harry, Harry Maguire or John Stones, Kieran Trippier, uh, Harry Kane going on loan to various clubs, uh, you know, Vardy spending time down at lower league. So I think that's why they, they're humble and that's why they, you know, 
they perform together and as a collective. So, no, delighted that uh, Jordan's had some game time, um, you know, but would I be worried about putting Lewis Gibbons on? No chance. I'd put him on at, at the drop of a hat, no problem. And just a bit of housekeeping to round off. No Danny Rose or Leanne Gall involved today. What's the latest? Well, the one on the angle, you know, uh, we've we've accepted a bid uh, from Grimsby. Uh, he spoke to Lee yesterday and his representatives, and uh, you know they they're currently working on that. Uh, Lee's had the weekend off to to think about the move and the potential for the move. Um, you know, so we, we we'll know more probably Monday, Monday, Tuesday on that. Uh, that's something that um, you know we'll, we'll, we might progress Monday, uh, but we, we might not. Um, Danny Rose one, you know, I felt towards the back end of the week it was turning into a circus uh, through the media. I thought that our professionalism was outstanding, and um, you know the way that we've uh, that we've we've received a bit. It's not it's not it's not good enough. The chairman's made that quite clear um, that if he wants to move, then um, it'll be at the chairman's valuation, no one else's. Um, you know, and that's that's really important, but. I think some of the stuff that you know come out from the the club that's that's bid for him, uh, certainly from a personal point of view, I, I try and remain professional, um, you know. But it, it was sort of a personal sort of uh, attack on me uh, and my relationship with Danny Rose. But just to set the record straight with Danny, um, I put him in the put him in the team, made, give him his debut uh, when I was at Barnsley. Put him in the team. He helped secure me the job, so I've nothing but admiration for Danny. Um, when I went to Bury. I signed him, persuaded you know, my then chairman, Stuart Day, to spend good money on Danny. Um, I got promoted with him, spent time um, in Spain with him. Um, and in League One then, when I was at Bury, I, got, I had to stay in the league. So I got Leon Clark and um, Tom Popin, two League One top hitters. And I explained to Danny that you know, by getting them in, it's important that he goes play games and really sets his, his career alight. Uh, he then moved to Mansfield. Yes, I was the manager that sold him then. And um, I didn't see him as a third choice centre forward. I see him as a front line centre forward. He come to Mansfield and the rest is history. He was outstanding. So uh, I've had a fantastic relationship with Danny Rose. Every game he was available last season, I played him until he was injured. You know, so... Um, I'd like to say that if Danny Rose goes on and does fantastically well, uh, I've played a part in that in, in, in his career, and uh, you know that that's probably setting the historical facts right. That uh, and that's important to me, you know, because when someone comes at you from a personal attack with a slur, I think it's important that the truth's told, and uh, that's what that's what's happened over over my time with uh, Danny Rose. And very finally, just to wrap off here, Stags three, Newport nil on the opening day of the campaign. What does this performance and victory do for the squad? I think it gives them belief. I think they're trusting in what we're doing. Um, that's been evident pre-season, but you know, people have argued it's only pre-season and uh, you know, there is no points to gain pre-season. But you know, they, there's a lot to gain from a good pre-season campaign. And uh, I think we've, we've, we've shown today, uh, without getting carried away, by the way, that mm. that, that preparation's been good. It's been, uh, it's been thorough and uh, the lads are feeling good about themselves in there. You know, they really are. Um, and, and that's important because you know yourself, Steve, or you was in Portugal. They've, they've worked hard out there, you know, and uh, they've worked very hard. Um, and, and it's important that they feel, feel good about themselves today because, you know, that was, that was an excellent performance from, from the team and the squad.